Oh, we got marriage on the bottom of the deck. Okay, partnership. Um, lion energy and luck energy. You could be uh, Aries. I, I don't know why I heard Aries because the lion energy is Leo energy. So you could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We've got luck energy, four leaf clover energy, and strength energy here and courage. Um, okay, this... Uh, there could be someone with fire placements coming towards you, okay? Some of you guys could be married. It looks like if for those of you who are married, um, you're struggling through, uh, your relationship is getting stronger and I feel like it's been an uphill battle, but whatever the struggle was, I feel like you're coming out of that and things are going to be improving for the two of you. If you're not in a relationship, it looks like you have an opportunity coming towards you for a partnership. Okay, this could be in business, all right? Doesn't always have to be about love, but this is a love reading. I feel like you are getting ready to like join with somebody. Some of y'all might be surprised getting engaged. Um, someone here I feel like wants to express love to you um, after a time period of, I don't know. I feel like you just have been an uphill battle. Maybe when it comes to dating in general, it says harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. So this is like moving forward with intent, right? <clears throat> Knowing what you want, um, not really playing games about it. Somebody knows what they want. They know exactly what that is. And that could be you, okay? Or a partnership with you or business with you. Whatever this is, this is like a coming together of something. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. That's exactly what the marriage card says. And underneath, uh, on the bottom of the deck, I'm looking at celebration energy. And this is like a special gift is unveiling for you, Collective. Like a box. You see how this box is shining? The, the box, the lid was taken off. And you see these lights, right? It's like magic. It's like magical. You see these orbs coming out, right? This is a gift from the divine. It says you are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. This is really positive. And then we have the luck energy, which is that Sag energy I was talking about, okay? And this literally says you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead of you. So you have some doors opening for you, a gift from the divine. This is definitely divine divinely sent and a gift so let me and you may even have like a divine partner coming in too right with this marriage energy i'm gonna read this so we have the number 16 19 and 20 and the number th uh five so definitely some, some something's getting ready to change in your life and i feel like that is your love life okay we have the marriage energy. All right. I'm just going to read this when it comes to love. It says a wonderful experience awaits you. A new life may bring. I'm sorry. A new life may begin with a special partner who makes you feel loved. OK. Um, and respected. Oh, my goodness. This is great. This is a stark difference in between the energy we had last night. If y'all weren't on the channel last night, I did a part one and a part two, and it was real karmic -y, okay? Um, spiritual marriages may manifest, or it is a sort of new, long-lasting, loyal friendship. Troublesome relationships could become more harmonious, and families will blossom and grow. Okay, rifts could also be mended. Now is an ideal time for singles to settle down with that special loving partner. So like I was saying before I read this book, it's basically like, you know, if you're if you're married, your relationship is your marriage is getting better. It's improving. It's been an uphill battle, but you're finally like you push through it and things are improving and you're going to start feeling like that and seeing that. Um, you know, it's going to be calm and cool and collective in your household if you're single. Now is a real good time for you to go out and mingle, baby. I don't if you if you if you into that and you want somebody, okay. Some of y'all might want to be single. If you don't want love, then this could be an opportunity for a uh, partnership, okay? A new opportunity. So stay optimistic if you are optimistic, okay? Right now I'm switching. I'm gonna switch decks because I feel like we got new love here. The Queen of Pentacles, you could be an earth sign. The Queen of Pentacles is marriage material, okay? The, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's no nonsense. 
you know, a nice person, right? Somebody who's responsible. Look at that. Three of Pentacles. Um, nine of Wands. That's that uphill battle. That's that strength. That's that perseverance and charging ahead and not giving up. Um, and staying strong and optimistic. Exactly. Thank you, spirit guides. What do we have here for the collective when it comes to love? What else do they need to know about this? <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. You, you know, yeah, you're a great person. This is my bestie card. Hey, bestie. <laughs> you could be a water sign. Very loving empathic person very empathic person i feel like you have a spiritual gift or some form of gift of caring for other people i feel like you are like an over giver okay now if you know that's not you don't be mad at me okay but this is the energy i'm getting and feeling from this card okay six of wands is someone here who's like shines bright like a diamond but like in the most subtle way People are drawn to you and your attention. I mean, like they're drawn to you. You know, people, strangers talk to you and speak to you. They don't even know you. Um, you know, somebody may have come up to you. A stranger may have come up to you and just like started a conversation and gave you some, a word, I feel like very recently. And you were like, what? Okay. But it was something that you really needed to hear. I feel like. So six of wands, somebody's noticing you. They're they're like noticing how big your energy is. What's what else here for the collective? This person could be a Virgo. You could be a Virgo. Hmm. This is like being noticed but very quiet. Didn't I say you're shining bright, but you're very quiet though? Show me more here. For the collective. Page of Wands. Six of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay. Oh, somebody is quietly doing something. This is giving me like, this doesn't have to be the exact case, but Spirit is giving me this example. And that example is like, say you're out and about. So somebody sees you from across the room or somebody sees you somewhere. And they're just like, wow. And they're like coming towards you. And they don't, they watch, this person watches you for a while and may catch eye contact or they're trying to catch eye contact with you and maybe they can't get it. So they're deciding to come over and talk to you. Now, um, somebody here could be communicating that, you know, they're, look, what is this news? What's this page of wands energy, this communication? A Leo, somebody here could be a Leo. It's like somebody was holding back. Or this could have been you, somebody here is holding back communication or talking or responding. What's this page of wands energy <clears throat> with the six of swords? Yeah. What's this page of wands with the six of swords? The wheel and the tower. I feel like this is a good tower. I feel like this is something you've been waiting on here with the seven of pentacles. Yeah, there's like a partnership starting here. So like there's an ending of one chapter of your life. I feel like you guys are getting ready to start a new chapter after being single for a while. Or like I said, if you're currently in a relationship, it's been an uphill battle. You, you put a lot of time, effort, and energy into something, okay? With the seven of pentacles and then three of pentacles. Um... And waited patiently for something to waited patiently for a change. There is some shocking, unexpected news here, or somebody shocking. Like I don't the wheel. It's definitely some changes. What's this tower? I feel like it's good though. Some of y'all may be seeing ten ten synchronicities with that wheel energy and um the world. Well, show me more about this tower please the two somebody's planning two of wands what's this tower with the two of wands the high priestess somebody's waiting and planning and not something and they're not saying something somebody here could be moving four of wands who is this person who is this person spirit gods Eight of Pentacles. For some of y'all, this can be work related. Somebody you know at either at your job or somebody that lives in your community, um, like in your neighborhood or something here. What's this wheel? 
Somebody might be moving for work or traveling for work. Someone here could be a cancer. The moon is clarifying the wheel. But I feel like somebody's walking away from something. King of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. This is somebody here who's walking away from a, a bunch of drama. From what I'm seeing here, they're abandoning ship. They're abandoning a, abandoning a situation that's that's just not good. I'm seeing the Eight of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This person could be a, a Cancer or a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius here. I feel like somebody is quietly planning and moving and going somewhere and traveling. I do. Show me more here. Somebody is, I just saw the devil in the eight of cups. Somebody is walking away from a toxic environment, a toxic connection or relationship or this person um, is divorced, right? Or you could be divorced, but there's a new, there's a new beginning starting here. Like I said, with that wheel and, um, the world card, right? That's ending an old cycle, breaking away from that devil energy, Capricorn energy, you know, eight of cups, walking away from some shit that's just not working, doing stuff different. Somebody's doing things different. They're ready for a change in their life. Yeah, ten of swords almost popped out. So this is telling me this person, you guys, um, they went through something. They were stabbed in the back and they were not in a good situation. All right, show me more here for the collective. Maybe you went through something similar. Yeah, see, it's somebody's wish fulfillment. Somebody is happy as F to leave a situation, okay? They are. Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Fool, okay? Someone here could be a fire sign, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The point is here is that somebody is happy to pack their bags up and leave and go somewhere and move or they're just leaving some burden behind they're leaving that devil energy behind they're leaving that five of wands energy and that five of cups energy behind this person's happy to be free and leave whatever this situation is okay so if you're concerned about when this new person comes in are they still attached to somebody they're, that this person's not going to be attached to anybody but they did just leave a bad situation and I feel like that was an uphill battle somebody here is like moving away and starting over or something this person is just doing whatever it takes to to be happy you know somebody really is saying fuck this i'm gone like this is not working for me you know what i mean that's just the energy that i'm getting let me move on to a different deck so this is good energy um you know, definitely some travel and some moving. Yeah, somebody here is moving away from somebody that had a mask. Five of Swords energy. Truth be told, whoever this person, I feel like we're talking about this King of Swords. Because that's, you know, I mean, you could be you, Queen of Queen of Cups. You could have dealt with that, okay? Um, either you or this masculine did. Somebody's mask came off. Someone here was dealing with somebody who stabbed them in the back and really betrayed them and hurt them. They were wearing a flipping mask, but with this owl sitting on top of this thing, like this door is opening and this mask is off. So somebody is seeing somebody for their true colors. You know, they're seeing them for this, for this type of person. This person was wearing a mask. I don't, yeah. Show me more here for the collective about the situation. Action. Yeah. Listen, this person is getting ready to um, leave a situation, okay? And go on a journey and travel or you are, okay? The number two. Somebody's heart chakra is open. Their heart chakra is opening. They're leaving a situation and they're ending a karmic cycle with this round and round energy. Somebody's finally gotten the courage to do that. Show me more here. And this person has, yeah, I feel like somebody's speaking, finally spoke up for themselves and said, I'm leaving. I feel like this is past energy. Um, somebody, or this is somebody in the process of actually packing up their house. 
Yeah. Never ending story. Never ending story. That's that round and round, that cycle energy. Imagine. This is somebody imagining what their life could be like if they broke this cycle. And they broke away from this hostile environment, uh, from that ten of swords and that ten of wands. Because this person is was sick of this shit. So they are, um, yeah. Show me more here. This could be you also. This could be you also. This person is looking for a house. This person is looking for a house. We have observer and no place like home. And this observer is pointing right at this home. Um, somebody getting ready to move. Now, for those of you who are married and in a connection right now, you two could be moving out of this hostile energy saying we need to do things differently. Like I said, um, because that stuff, you know, you, maybe you're going to therapy. Something here is improving if you're in a relationship and you guys may be deciding to buy a home or purchase a home together. And you could currently be looking for one if you're single, like I said, um, this is just this person coming towards you. Look for a place, a new place. What's this community energy? The community card just came out. Deep knowing. Somebody feels drawn to come to a certain city or a certain place. You know, um, with this deep knowing. That's like your intuition, right? Community. But also, too, I feel like somebody's intuition let me get more on this community because there could be something else here what's this deep knowing with community fork in the road and what about this fork in the road with the community clarify peace i feel like somebody wants peace from a situation again but they're in this indecision energy like they're at a fork in a road in their life but i feel like they're they they're moving away from a community they feel drawn to leave and go somewhere because they need peace they're trying to come out of this hostile environment right remember we saw that six of swords and five of swords is this hostile energy so this person is is like i i don't know where i'm getting ready to move or buy a new home but i feel like wherever this person buys this home they're they're looking right now right they haven't figured out which where they're going to move like what city or what house but they know they're about to travel pretty far too. This could be somebody who's like traveling out of state with this go the distance and treasure island. Like this is not somebody who lives on the other side of town, y'all. This is somebody moving to a new city or a new state or a new country, okay? Show me more here about for the collective. What else does the collective need to know? Yeah. Somebody here is walking away from a situation and they're doing it the right way. Victory on the bottom of the deck, the number 28, the number 27, walking away. Someone here is stepping outside of their home or their comfort zone. They're leaving their city. Like I said, they're leaving their community. Okay. Second car. They're leaving somewhere that they live. Hmm. Some of y'all could be seeing the numbers 11, 11 too. We, we have by the book energy, the number 11. Let me get one more card. Can you clarify this by the book energy? Thinking woman. Can you clarify this by the book energy? Yeah, daughter personal healing and happiness. Again, this could be you in this energy or this could be this masculine. It doesn't really matter, right? It's just the energy, but... Um, Door to personal healing and happiness is like, again, somebody is walking away for their own peace of mind from a, for a situation. And they're getting ready to do whatever it takes to be in the nine of cups and full energy. Whatever I got to do, if I got to step outside of my comfort zone and move to another city, move to another state to get the hell away from these people. You know, this ten of swords, ten of wands, five of swords energy. I'm going to do it. OK, that's what's happening here. So I feel like the messages are repeating itself at this point. Um, whoever's going on this new journey and traveling, they're about to walk into a lot of abundance. 
But I feel like somebody here is in a lot of anxiety because they're still healing from this this broken heart and this situation. Like they went through a tower. They went through a tower. But there goes that Leo energy again. Angel of strength. It took all the strength for this person to make it through this. And then we have thinking man. The thinking woman is already out here. I feel like you might have experienced something very, very similar. Both walking away from something. You, it took a lot out of you to get through something and walk away from people who hurt you or somebody in particular who hurt you. But I just feel like, you know, whatever this is, is getting ready. It's faded. The wheel is here. The wheel is here. Yeah, the, the, the yang energy is a, a masculine energy. This is someone here ready and, and open to give. And I saw the yin energy, which is the, fe the feminine energy that's being open to receive. This is a divine masculine and divine feminine who, and I'm splitting the deck as I'm talking. We have higher power. This was divinely orchestrated. Like I said from the beginning, at the beginning of the reading. Milk and honey. You're about to be in the land of milk and honey. You're about to be, meet someone who is going to love you and respect you. They went through a lot and that's why they oh, can appreciate. That's why this person is so respectful because they're ready to be loved and they're going to want to love you and you're ready to be loved. And the queen of cups is the perfect person to give that love, right? They're going to love you. They're going to love you collective because like the queen of cups is be be giving good love don't they i'm a queen of cups i'm really you know i feel like you're the divine feminine to be real right we we divine feminines out here collective but um the queen of cups is the part of you that really wants to love and just nurture yeah i like that i like the energy today Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel um, if you're new here. If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Let me pull some zodiac signs. Uh, we already have Leo strongly out here. Aries out here. Cancer is out here. Pisces, Scorpio with the tower. Um, and we already have the Queen of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, and Virgo too. Virgo. Let's see what other signs you could be dealing with. This could be your signs, your, your birth chart, or the person coming towards you. Leo again. Um, Cancer again. Taurus, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Okay. Those are the signs you could be dealing with. Join us on Patreon. That's where we um, have readings um, that are commercial free. We do Twin Flame readings over there, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine readings. We do weekly Oracle readings and extra career readings and all of that jazz over there for like $5 a month. So if you're interested in that, join us. We would love to have you. Um, but if this is where we end this tonight, I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful, beautiful week. Bye.